<laughs> I can't see anything. I don't have any torches. <laughs> How did you get the obsidian under me? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they green? Hello, my name is History West and welcome back to Family Quest. I'm standing here on top of my newest construction. Not that one, not the tower, but this little red brick one here. I struggle to think of what I should work on next. And uh, I have a whole list of things that should be built in a server, on a server, on a Minecraft game. But uh, I became inspired by uh, watching one of Rendog's videos on uh, his server and their minecart system. So I decided to build a minecart train system and of course first I need to build a station so I'm working on that. Um, and you can see I'm making it out of dark oak and red brick. So, let me show you a couple of things around here right quick before we get back to what we were doing. Uh, got our sheep bred up. We got enough sheep. We just need to dye them and get started on building our micro sheep farm. We've got some uh, armor stand villagers around here. Walking around. And way up on our balcony, we have one up there. Let's see. Can we zoom in? Yeah. Can't quite see him very good. There he is. He's pointing off in the distance. And inside our tower, we've been making some improvements. I finally decided we really needed a, a real villager trading hall instead of just a wandering around villagers like we had before. So I've been working to provide one here. I've got it pretty well uh, decorated. And we've got all our villagers in a row here. And these guys right here, this series of villagers is my most important group because I can sell all the diorite and uh, st uh, stone and granite and I can buy bricks and all those bricks that I use to build the bottom floor of the train station I bought from these guys I didn't uh, scrounge for a single blob of um, what do we need? Clay. So now I'm working on the top floor. And uh, first thing we need to do is complete our floor. And then this is going to have a dark oak wall. And it'll be set out one block in the same style as these two previous buildings I've got here but with a different uh, color palette with red brick and dark oak. Originally I was planning dark oak and I couldn't think of anything else to go with it and uh, I saw somebody suggesting that red regular brick or nether brick might work well with a dark oak. I saw this post on Reddit. So I think what I'm going to do is trim off this layer of wood right here. So it's not quite an actual uh, 
red or dark oak log. I don't know about those two yet. This is going to be an open area. This will be our launch area for our minecarts going out, or at least somewhat open. I'll have to decide. And as you can see, I have extended the wall out, which was necessary. And uh, I had been planning to expand it as needed anyway. It wasn't something that I hadn't thought about. Let's try for that many blocks. See if that covers everything we need. In the bottom we're going to have a lobby and then we're going to build a large that was dumb. We're going to build a large map. We should save those rockets for the opening. Everybody will want to see don't go there because that's where stairs are going to go. Okay. Let me finish up this floor and then I will be back. Okay. We have our floor done. Got a fairly large opening. We'll put a railing around here, like so. And our wall is going to be right here. One block out. do we want this wall to go? Because I don't... Uh, yeah, it's going to stop at some point here. Okay, let's see what our halfway point is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Did I make this an even number? This would be the halfway point. But I don't want it to stop there, so I want uh, 9, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So right about there, I want that much of an opening. In fact, let's not do that. Let's say... Should I put a log here? I'm going to leave that unsettled for the moment and finish working on the uh, rest of the walls. So let me finish those and I'll be back. Okay, I've got that uh, wall put up on the second floor, and I've got some scaffolding here. So it's time to do a little bit of uh, roofing. And I'm going to put a temporary piece right here. Because I'm not going to use dark oak as the roofing material. I'm also not using brick, but, ouch, 
Um, but, I say, I am going to uh, put brick across the front and the back, much like I've done with cobblestone on these two. mistake I made was that I've built too close to my tower here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Again, let's use that temporary block and brick here. And I can climb up this ivy or vines. I keep calling it ivy. It's not specifically ivy. Although, you know, technically it could be because ivy is a vine. Okay. I could make this fancier than a, a simple peak, but uh, that kind of is the style that I want to go for. the rest of the builds. I may do something different when I get around to building a stable, which I am going to do eventually. I like a much uh, taller sloping roof on a stable. Barn-like if you will. Now this the question is, what material am I going to use for roofing if I'm not using either brick or um, dark oak? And the answer is, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to try it out. Originally, when I was first building this, I was thinking that I wanted to go with dark prismarine as the roof because it goes good with dark oak, but um, it doesn't really go good with brick, so no prismarine, no dark prismarine. Okay, and thankfully in this direction I have an odd number. Okay. Actually, I don't need a brick slab. I, here, I need a brick stair. I just will go ahead and put the flourish on now. Put a little torch up here. Okay, now it's ready for my choice of building material that's going to go the rest of the way across the roof. So let me figure out what that's going to be and I'll be back with you. Okay, we are going with uh, birch on the top and we've got uh, some other birch going on I'll show you in just a minute. But that reminds me I need more wood and rather than harvest the trees right around here until they're all gone I need to either I need to start a tree farm is what I need to do I wanted to clear the trees right around the entrance anyway but um, I don't want to denude the whole area of trees however I just remembered we have those trees nearby that are already denuded of leaves so this is perfect. Um, might as well chop these down. And 
then I'll show you my design for the uh, minecart track and uh, pillars holding it up this won't take very long and uh, I just want to make sure I don't fall in that hole over there So when you're doing a minecart uh, system, you have the option of going like a single wide um, track and just, you know, a block underneath it. And the advantage, of course, is that you'll save on resources. Or you can go full out and make a wide uh, support system with uh, pillars and make it look really pretty. And that's what I've decided to do. I've seen some really good minecart tracks. If you've uh, seen my videos of the Wells Knight Patreon server, uh, they have just got the most amazing minecart path ever. Um, huge amounts of uh, resources, uh, whole logs used, uh, all kinds of supports. It's really wide. Here's that hole. Definitely don't want to fall in there. A lot of creepy noises around here. I know that is because there is a um, uh, an abandoned mine underneath here. Okay, it's kind of an ugly tree. See, the problem is with these forests, all the trees end up being connected, so the leaves don't despawn unless you separate them there we go, that's separated that way and not separated that way so this bunch of leaves here will despawn all right that looks like all of those So let's head back and I'll show you what we've got here. Hey there, buddy. Okay, we're still working on our ceiling here in the interior of the station, but here's our platform. There'll be some steps leading up right here. Hop into position, press the button to get your minecart, which gets dropped right back in the boxes, goes through hopper into the dropper, or dispenser, excuse me. And then we've got this is our minecart track going out. We've got sea lanterns. I think color wise, um, glowstones would have been better, but. I have an abundance of sea lanterns because of our uh, ocean monument that we've uh, subdued and uh, made into a guardian farm. We've got our redstone block every 10 spaces with um, our powered rail. We could of course uh, space them a little bit further apart, of course we could make it closer if we wanted to also. And then here are our pillars. I've seen somebody else do this before, which is um, 
I think it was false symmetry, use a stone block and then use a, a base of uh, cobblestone stairs. Gives it a nice contrasty appearance. And so that's what it looks like. So I'm really liking this design. Now, it's going to use a lot of iron between the uh, iron bars that are up there. Just this small segment here was three stacks of iron ingots to make this many iron bars. And then you've got iron in the rails um, because you know you can explore for a long time and still not get enough uh, minecart track. Okay, that looks like about all the time we have for this episode. We'll come back next time and you'll see us uh, add some more to our minecart track. We want this to go all the way to Spawn Town, which is about a thousand blocks away. If you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, watch this channel. We'll have Minecraft videos every Wednesday and Saturday all summer long. So stay cool, stay out of the heat, and as always, keep on Minecrafting.